hi guys welcome back to mariah red tv and in today's video i'll be doing another deep condition i'm gonna start calling these deep condition which means because i deep condition my hair a lot when i'm at home but yeah here i'm just showing you the products i'm using the spray bottle the conditioner and the oils and then the shower cap and the little dollar tree um yeah that's my jamaican black castor oil but it's coming i'm gonna show you my little dollar tree thingamajig i don't know what to call it yeah that's the shower cap and that's the thingamajig that i got from dollar tree it's machine washable I use this with every deep condition and it basically traps in the heat. Now I'm showing you guys, I went ahead and microwaved up the little mixture and it's a little steaming hot. But yeah, I'm going to take down those braids and just ignore my mouth. Yeah, I was talking to the camera, but realized that all of the talking and whatnot, the video was going to be way too long, so here I am just doing this voiceover, and I sped this up, so this is not real time. I'm not rushing through my hair or anything, and this is how I wear my hair under my weave. I don't use glue around my edges or anything, because you, as you can see, they are kind of thin as it is. Like, my hair is just thin, like, it's naturally thin it started doing that around my teenage years um even if i go natural it'll be thick but like i have coarse hair but it'll still be thin if you understand what i'm saying but yeah this is how i stretch my perms out i usually go anywhere from 12 to 19 weeks the last time i had a perm wait no not the last time but one time I stretched to 19 weeks, it was very tedious, but I got through it. So now, I mean, I just basically go with the flow. I don't set a date on when I'm going to need a perm. I just kind of manage my new growth um, throughout and see if I need a perm or a relaxer, a texturizer, or whatever you want to call it. Um, I, cause I do, when I do go in with the relaxer, I relax bone straight. As y'all can see, I know that's not good, but it's what I like doing. And it kind of just somehow happens anyway. But yeah, I'm gonna let y'all watch this and I'll see you in the next one.
then condition my hair. No, I didn't leave it on the extra um, hour or 30 minutes or whatever I said I was going to do. But I am going to... Um, I'm either I'm debating on should I just let this air dry or should I go ahead and attempt to dry it but what I'm thinking what I'm really leaning towards doing is going ahead and adding my leave-in which is Africans pride um, oh, it itches right here for some reason and I'm just scratching away but I have Africans pride uh, leave-in conditioner. I love this stuff as y'all can see. I'm almost out. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and put my leave-in in and then maybe I can sit y'all right here. Babe, I'm out. Work with me on these angles. Work with me, you guys. Work with but I'm just gonna go ahead and put the leave-in conditioner and then I'm going to decide if I wanna air dry or if I want to blow dry. So, and this clip coming up, yeah, right there, I'm just giving you guys like a little shake test. This is after I had blue dried my hair, blow dried my hair, and I'm just showing you how it is. Then at the end, I'm gonna show you a picture of my length. I guess it can be like a length check because I don't use a flat iron in my hair. And I hope you guys like this video. Don't forget to subscribe to Mariah Red TV. Bye.